All right, welcome back to the channel. Captain Steve Pope here with Kansas City, Kansas Fire Department and Firefighter Golf, because you're already here at this channel. But we're here at Tatanka Golf Club up here in the middle of northern central Nebraska. We're making a little journey and excursion out of this trip. You already saw the Landman video on the channel. Hopefully, if not, go back and watch that. Wonderful golf course. Uh, only open for like a year and a half now, maybe two years. And then we decided to make a journey excursion and come play Tatanka as well. So a quick little day and a half trip. Uh, I love showcasing these golf courses. For one, when I look for places to travel to, I, I look to see if there's any YouTube videos out there. So I like showcasing this golf course uh, and Landman and any, any courses I travel to. So this channel is about bringing awareness to uh, mental health for first responders. And I use the game of golf to recalibrate. So this trip, I feel recalibrated. I feel decompressed. Uh, but like I mentioned, I, I trying to grow the game, showcasing these golf courses, as well as help my first responders or any of my golf fans out there that, you know, hey, use the game of golf to help you decompress. Be aware of the mental health of your stress that's happening. Stress is a big is a big thing. And I didn't believe it was at first, uh, going along in my career for many years and just didn't feel stressed. And lo and behold, it hit, hit me like a, like a ton of bricks. So anyway, I try to share all my story I uh, know I'm not sharing much of it now, but anyway, just be self-aware. Love you all, and uh, take care. One, two, three, four. All right, hole one's downhill. We're playing combo tees the whole day. We're going to pick the yardages we want to play from. There's the 150 post, I'm assuming, and a dog legs that way, we're thinking, according, according to the scorecard. Craig, you said 280 of that bunker? Yeah. Okay. Right next to the post. There you go. Closest to the pole, right? Got 115. I'm assuming red flags are in front, so that's good to know. A little downhill. I got a choke down 52 here. Right at it. All right, good way to start the round. There she is. All right, Craig's playing in the snake grass. He got it out. It pulled him left, but he's out. They're not that fast. Gosh, <laughs> two day. I can't putt on these courses. It's tough. Ah, uh, that. Right. All right, hole two, we're gonna play the white tees, 505, not 435 green. Hole two, 505 yards, uphill pretty severe, it looks like there. Tatanka, hole two. Good ball. Thank you. Where's this fade coming from today? Little graveyard off hole number two. So it's severely uphill here, about 220. Got the three wood type hybrid. Almost to that bunker. Good miss. More lush. Yeah, more grown in just yeah. because it's got history. All right, we got a big long green snake here. So when I've looked at the aerial shots of this golf course on Google Maps, every one of their bunkers looks like some type of animal or something or a footprint or something like that and this one we're thinking squirrel 
I think so. Yeah, it's hard to tell from this angle, but yeah, it looks like it. These fairways are kind of lush, so I should be able to get up and under this one. Get up that slope, don't come down it. All right, it got up there, it stayed up there. See if I can get it to the hole this time. Right to left from my side. Just gotta hit him. I, can't, I couldn't hit him at land, man. I can't hit him here, Craig. Ah. So I put another one down and hit it harder and it barely went like, I don't know, almost a foot past the hole. So I just gotta get myself to hit it today. The putting greens were a little faster here than uh, these, these course greens. So I just gotta adjust. All right, we are on hole three. We're, Craig's gonna pick on the odd holes now, what tee boxes, and I'm gonna pick the even holes. We can do 425 downhill. Okay, 425 downhill, here's what we got. Wide open fairway. All right, from the white tees on hole three, 425 downhill. We're into the wind, but, and then the bunkering out there, I'm not sure what type of footprints those are. Nice. There's room over there. We're on opposite ends of the earth. Well, you turned your shoulders. All right, here's my approach shot. Thank God this fairway is 200 yards wide. There's the blue flag back there. That tree might be in the way a little bit. We'll see. All right, we're about 206, 210 to this pin. Got the four iron. Not the greatest of strikes, but it's going to run up. Good shot. Keep going. Front of the green. Looks like it's slopey, too, to that pin. Yeah. All right, we got a foundation here. They're not considering it an integral part of the course because they give you a drop area. They got a tournament coming here for some men this weekend. But this looks like the old entrance right here. Cool. You got the graveyard, and now you got the, the house here. All right, my ball didn't make the green. It looked like it did. That four iron with that stance, ball above my feet, I thinned it up here. But here's what I got. I'm gonna set the pin, or the camera all the way behind the pin here. Boy, look at this slopey green here. The double green. It's humid out already starting to get there, so I went with the my rain glove now. Thank you. All right, I got a pitching wedge or a 52 here. I'm deciding which one here. Probably the 52, throw it a little further over this fringe. They're faster than that, come on. I mean, slower than that. Hit it, Steve. Hard to get used to it yet. Yeah, we should have played this from 400 yards. <laughs> Well, yeah, I mean, I, good putt. I, you know, we both hit shitty drives, so. Nope, didn't even get it there. I'll meet you down the bottom of the hill there. Okay. Beautiful setting. I mean, the trees down here in this little valley with trees, uh, creek. Beautiful. I, I recommend getting up here playing Tatanka. I know I'm only through three holes, but uh, yeah, get on up here. All right, I'm gonna play the 371 from the white. Hit it good. All right, look at this uphill wickedness. Dog leg left, got a bunker there. The 150 post is right there to your right, just a little. All right, I don't know where to go. <laughs> Just somewhere out there, right? Someone left me a blue tee. Take it. Run up that hill. It did. Yeah. We're at the top, folks. You know, it didn't look like I hit it high at all. 
but just it's so severely upsloped that you know it's probably a normal ball flight on flat ground that's what's wonderful about this game is the deception that you can put in with bunkers and this slopes and uh, blind tee shots so that's what i love about it At the top of hole number four here, the view is, is pretty priceless. All right, hole four, another blue pin in the back. I'll get to the, get you the yardage when I'm by race swing. All right, I got 144, it's slightly into the wind. I'm gonna go with this pitching wedge because I do not want to be over with a nine iron. And with these new Gen 6s, they go about 10 yards further than my old gaps. Tried to save that at the end, but all right, front of the green, see if I can two putt. Gosh. Yeah, so I towed that one and it didn't fly as far into the wind. So I got me a long putt here, I gotta navigate. Um, and that's kind of the, you know, I could have choked down on the nine iron and, and tried to fly it in there better, and, but I didn't want to go over. I don't know this course, so I'm trying to play conservative for the most part and give myself, you know, just enough opportunity to at least get the par. Um, you know, that's how I play. I'm more conservative. I don't attack pins that often, especially those back pins when the number's not there for me. So anyway, let's see what I can do with this putt. So, these greens are slopey, but this one's not so bad here walking up man you can't beat that view wowzers get out to tonka to tonka buffalo all right there's where the ball's at long putt i'm gonna put the camera over there gotta make sure i hit this because the, there's still a little bit of dew on the greens too so all right see what we're gonna do Come on, come on. Ah, misread that one, but it's good pace finally. Craig put his golf balls on the cart and left and they fell off. All right, I finally gauged a putt, and especially a long one like that. So, all right, I'm not sure what this bunker is I'm looking at. It looks like it's got some type of eye in the middle of it. I don't know. I don't know. I like it. All right, hole five. I'm gonna play it from 170. The green tees. All right, look at this. Top of the hill, par three, beautiful. Vista. That's what we got. I got a nine iron from 145-ish into the wind. Gosh, that's why I left that pitching wedge. Get up there. That's horrible strike. Don't hit that to you, everyone's got bad mojo. All right, nice walk up this to this vista. Nice, these two holes. That's more like a back pin more than middle. Yeah. Definitely. They tricked us. <clears throat> Tatanka. Uh, I have a 54 and a 52 here. These greens might speed up as the day goes. He just mowed this one, so <laughs> the last hole had some dew on it. All right, I like the 54 with this lie. A little downhill early on, so then back up, it looks like. Climb, climb, climb. Wow. Gotta hit them even more. They're just not mowing them low, probably. Because it is getting humid right now. So that's more of a climb than I thought, too. I don't even know if it would have got over the front of the hole. Yep, I think it would have made it. Gosh. All right, hole six here at Tatanka. 
drivable possibly downwind a little bit and look at the bunkers the animals in front whatever they are looks like a raccoon and a something all right playing from the 312 yard tee box i won't be able to get there today it's into the wind it's be a good spot Right by the fox, or the raccoon, or the squirrel, or whatever they are. <laughs> All right, here's what I got. I'll give you the yardage when I'm about ready to hit to this front pin. All right, so it's about 70 yards. Got a 58 here. It's up there. Look pretty good to me from here. We'll see. All right, a little deep, but I'd rather be there than down there. So, downhill putt. All right, downhiller. Looks like right to left. Left to right from your angle. Uh, looks like I'm gonna have to go about three feet out maybe. This green seems faster because I, I didn't try to hit it that time. All right, hole seven. I'm gonna play it at 407. Hole seven, 407, uphill. If I go right over this bunker here, that's probably a good line. <laughs> we found his ball. That's a good ball. All right, 120 yards to that white pin over a bunker that looks like some type of animal claws. All right, I have the pitching wedge up this hill, 120, kind of slightly into the wind, but this ground here and the uphill to it, so. Come on, Wynn, take a left now. Nope. It's up top, though. All right, I can't complain about that one being a little right because if I'm here, I'm down here by the camera. You probably can't see the perspective. Maybe you can. So I'm happy with this, I guess. Okay. It's not reading them right. Getting the pace now even though I felt like I pounded that one. So that's what you have to do on these golf courses, not just this one, but any golf course, you have to adjust to the conditions that they're playing. So either way, beautiful golf course. The vistas are wonderful. So get out here to the Tonka. I've already said it three or four times. Holding the break, coming up. All right, there's the yardage for hole number eight. <laughs> Someone broke the sign off or whatever happened, I don't know. So we got what's green and what's white, Craig? 204 to the green, white is 215. All right, 204 sounds good enough to be me. I'll be playing the green. All right, 204 yards to the middle. It's a red flag up front. Yep, that's your swing path too. I bet, I bet on track, man, we'd see it going out that way. Nope. All right, Craig went before me with a seven and didn't get it there, so I'm gonna go with the six. Look at the butt on that guy. We'll see if she's there or not. No, that's even short. <laughs> God, I felt I hit that decent. Front. All right, there's where my six iron ended up. I hit a little toey. That's been the problem with these new irons. I need to, when I picked them up, they weren't able to spec check them for me. 
He's going with the putter. <laughs> not a bad choice. No, it's not, but it's not the best. I should be able to pitch it up there. Well, you don't have confidence in it, then. Shot. Man, they're not rolling out like you would think. Woo! <laughs> that hole grabbed it. Thank you, hole. Did it break to the left? <laughs> well, it, it did, and then it went right again. That was weird. Because mine was right all the way. Yeah, I, I thought yeah. it's going right. All right, hole nine. Got a lot of choices because you got that, uh, how should I say it? You got to lay up or get across that creek on the left. So I'm debating whether I'm playing the 520 or 447. I'll let you know. All right, so this is not even an, an easy drive from down here at 447. Uh, so I decided to play down here just to have some fun. I don't know the golf course, so uh, we're gonna get some yardages and see if we can make it across the creek there. I'm not sure if you can see this, but let's see if the camera can focus. It's two, about 279 to that 150 post, so that's gonna be a poke for me. All right, I got a five iron because we're into the wind. Probably should have played back there at the blue. I think this fairway on the right is part of 18's fairway too. Nice shot. Thank you. All right, looks like it's in the fairway. All right, it's uphill, 245. I'm gonna hit this three hybrid. Yep, just a little ride up there, of the pin area. I didn't see it laying straight. Oh, oh. Craig, you stayed on the planet. <laughs> yep, let's go, we can drive. Yeah. I can hold it like this. Oh, oh. All right, there's mine down there, probably gonna be about 50 yards. Here's what I got. So there's a little fall off right here. I gotta get up top here, a little backstop there. I got a 58 and 54 with me, so. So we've had the course to ourselves today. It's been pretty awesome. Got the 54 here. Ah, I stayed on that bottom tier. All right, just gotta make sure you hit them up this slope. And I feel like I killed it, man. It's just crazy how hard you gotta hit it. All right, thanks for watching part one out here at Tatanka, the front nine. Tatanka Golf Club. Nice course, friendly off the tee for the most part. You know, after you play it once, you, you can learn the angles a little, little better and <clears throat> probably have a, a better time out here. But overall, man, nice golf course. I recommend getting out here, combine the land man with this one. And I think you got yourself a good trip. So stay tuned for the back nine coming soon. And then I'll also put out the full 18 hole video eventually after that. But anyway, Thanks for watching. Stay self-aware of the stress in your life. Use an outlet like I do with golf to help you decompress and recalibrate. All right, love you all. Thanks. Thanks for watching.